Hi everybody, welcome to my Friday painting or drawing in this case. It's time for ink again and this week I'm using inks that I won't dissolve with water. But I'm starting with a yellow watercolor pencil to sketch out my subject here. Uh, this drawing is for the May prompt for the Lacrie uh, Artist Group, which is a uh, paint an animal in not its natural colors. So I, in, in cases like this, I like to go to uh, paintmyphoto.com to get royalty free uh, reference photos and I found this tiny fawn here and I thought oh that would be cute to draw I, I rarely draw animals like that and uh, well let's let's go for it and then it was um, what colors am I gonna color him or her in uh, that are not natural for fawns and I thought oh it, it would be pretty difficult probably and kind of interesting and awesome if I can pull it off to color him in yellows and a bit of oranges there. So here I'm going at it and uh, I'm using the same markers that I used on Monday in the art journal. If you remember, there they did not layer well at all. Uh, this is a different kind of mixed media paper that I'm working on and they worked awesome. So it's, I'm very sure that my problems on Monday were not about the markers, but on just the combination of those markers on a certain kind of paper. So I'm coloring in uh, the outlines that I uh, sketched out earlier. And the important thing here is when you look at your reference photo, just to look for light and shadow and not for the colors that that animal is in and then just try to copy it and uh, have certain colors set aside for shadows and others for light and uh, then once you have determined what spot to color with what color it's all about the texture so especially on the nose of the fawn you can see I had quite the um, well feathered lines there because the fur is just different less fluffy than it is on the rest of the animal there so sometimes you just have to be really brave with putting in those lines and other times you have to be super smooth uh, because um, you cannot really see the texture of the fur in certain spots on your photo so i'm using all in all uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tones of yellow and uh, orange. So two orange, uh, one, uh, this marker here is in the midst between yellow and orange and the others are more in the yellows, like a mustard yellow, a very butterfly light yellow that's almost white. You can see it on the left hand side on the leg of the fawn it's very very light so these are the colors that i chose they're all the um orange and yellow markers i have from that particular supply for the background i decided to stay pretty close to real nature so i didn't uh, change up colors there i went with uh, browns for earth and a bit of green and uh, teal blue for green shrubbery. So uh, this is pretty much <laughs> closer to nature and I like the combination of yellows, oranges, browns and greens together, especially if I'm using a warm green which has a lot of yellow in it. Um, it just feels very harmonic. And then uh, I decided to add in that reddish brown for the super darks that are pretty much the blacks in the um, uh, in the photo on the fawn. So just to have a bit of a higher contrast here, I decided to do that for the nose and the eyes. Then I'm taking my paper to my cutter, cutting it to the size that I want and uh, adding some white highlights with a white pen. 
And then that's my piece here. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will see you tomorrow with the new Talk O'Clock vlog Sunday with a board game. And next week's Monday, it's back to artwork. So stay tuned. Have a lovely weekend and take good care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>